This is the little doll that I got yesterday from an op shop. Um, well, she's not really little. She's a, just over two feet tall sitting. She's very creepy, but very pretty. Very, very well made. She looks extremely realistic, I think, anyway. Because I have a couple of these dolls that I was going to try to paint and screw up, but I'm not going to touch her. I'm just going to leave her. Her hair is really soft, really bouncy. It looks and feels almost like human hair. And she has rooted eyelashes. And um, her eyes are kind of faded. But it looks really, really unique, the fact that they look like that. And she has little teeth. You can see the detail in her face and her little hands. Um, you know, you could sit there and it's it feels like a real child town almost. The way that her fingers are cupped in. And um, this isn't the shirt she came with. I put this shirt on her. She came with a... Um, this little shirt here to go with her dress but it had a couple of stains on it see right there that haven't come off so I thought that it would look better to put a black and white shirt to match the little black velvet dress and then she has her little shoes um, and her little socks and you can see the detail um, on her you can even see the little Nobbles in her knees and her legs and stuff. See there? Uh, it looks like a real leg. She doesn't have... Oh, she has a little butt too, which is kind of cute because it's like... She's she's padded and she's quite weighty. But, um... And her head moves. Like you can actually move her head around. Because it's on like some kind of a... A ball bearing thing but um she has no cracks no tears no rips no nothing the only thing that was wrong with her was that I guess some kid had marked all over her and um she had like little you know pen marks on her but I cleaned her off and they're gone there's nothing on her little hands or anything and you could see the little dimples in her hands and everything and um she's porcelain as well so I can't believe she's in this good shape and that she's as big as she is and she was $24 so you know that this is a deal because I've seen these dolls before and they're quite expensive I think she's worth a couple hundred at least but um she's really really nice looking and, um, yeah, I think I'm going to be keeping her. <laughs> I'm not going to sell her off or let her go. Because she's just too pretty. And creepy. She scared the shit out of me last night. I had her standing next to my bed and I forgot she was there. And, um, I turned around and I was like, whoa, oh. <laughs> that was kind of cute. 